Aloha, welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. And now it's time for my favorite Eggman level, Lost Colony. So this is the Space Colony Ark. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. I love this level so much. It's so dark and ominous. And fun. And the more things you blow up, the lighter the area gets. Except for, um, ring boxes, obviously. But yeah, we're basically going through Crazy Gadget, only... No upside down puzzles. And designed for Eggman. And now we have Eggman's jet engine. Now we can hover as Eggman. What is it, Omo Chow? You're not very helpful. Checkpoint. And ten rings. Rings. I love this level so much. I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Oh yeah, actually this level's more like a dark eternal engine. Only more fun. And dark. Get your laser ready. Camo beetle right there. And the bat. Ow! Fuckers. So yeah, this section you just basically want to hold down the B button and spin your control stick like crazy. For the best results. For some reason, those there were two robots behind that that we didn't see. Yeah, look, it's exactly like Eternal Engine. For some reason, the missile f and those gun robots phase directly behind the uh, door. And that was Lust Colony. Now you know why I am the best. I'm really stepping up my rankings in the dark playthrough.
I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top-secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds, use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think it will be that easy? that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do, what's in it I have me? an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay, then. It's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. Very well. Very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the chaos emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me! He says we have 30 minutes, but really, this event chain is more than half an hour. Welcome to Hidden Base. I mean, not Hidden Base, um... Ah, crap, I keep forgetting this level's name. <laughs> Welcome to this, this and that zone. And it's time to get Eggman's second upgrade, the Large Cannon. It's the Vulcan Cannon power-up. You can now break iron containers. For some reason, these cameras count as lock-ons, too.
Eh, I'm not complaining. It's more score. That's a cheap shot right there. It can shoot you from behind the freaking... Um, it can shoot you from behind the... Uh, the iron containers. Being a kleptomaniac, taking all the rings. God damn it. Oh yeah, you can also lock onto the in the inactive robots and they count as a single score. They count as a single lock on. And it's pretty much your guaranteed A rank. The camera keeps wigging out. Not my camera that I'm using to record, the camera in the game. Free one up, and free 20 rings. That was a cheap shot. Oh well, I got a free life so I can't complain. Random speed boost. Will not complain. Ow! Fuck. Okay. Ignoring the ring bonus for now. I just want to get out alive. Fuck. One thing I do like about the uh, shooting levels, they don't run on rings like everyone else. They run on a health bar of their own. And there's the goal. This is a fairly easy level to A rank. Alrighty folks, until next time, peace out.